Carolyn Williams-Davidson, our guest. She's released her first CD, a collaboration with Bruce Riddell, composer Bruce Riddell. It is called New Journeys, and there are many new journeys on this. Uh, let's go back to uh, the ancestor song, the call to the ancestors. What does it say? It says you have a connection with ancestors and all of that. Uh, in, in the way that the Haida people think and other indigenous peoples, we acknowledge that we are part of um, a continuum, I guess, mm -hmm. and we can tap into that at any time. We can tap into this knowledge and strength of our ancestors and those people who are yet to be born. Uh, uh, connect to the spirit of the yes. ancestor. Do you believe in reincarnation in Haida Nation? Yes, we do. I do too. I have no <laughs> idea. I mean, we're not for sure, but I hope that's true. <laughs> I so do. Uh, your Haida name means beautiful sound. Yes, Lala Hagens. Mm. And so my great-grandmother gave me that name uh, when I was born, and then also later on I received the name from my great-grandmother, which is Gerald Kortsie. Really? I'm so glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I was thinking, I will say it means beautiful sound, but it's so interesting because a name that stays with you, uh, your, your name when you were born, surely your great grandmother didn't know you could, or your grandmother didn't know you could sing yet. Well, she could have. Maybe she. D oh, I never thought about that. It's true. All the all wise one. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. So beautiful sound, and so you had to make music. I, ha I guess didn't so. Didn't really I have a choice <laughs> when your name's beautiful sound. Of course, you have to. Your little girl dreams when you go back to the time when you were a young girl in in Skidigat and. Uh, I know you said you thought about and wanted to be a lawyer. What else? Uh, well, my first dream was to be a singer. My father mm. was a singer. He um, sang Frank Sinatra songs and um, Western songs, and he performed in a local band. So I sang a lot with them, and that was my dream mm -hmm. from kindergarten forward. Oh, great. It's taken me a bit long to realize that. <laughs> <laughs> Better but, late than never. But you have, and your maternal great-grandmother, she lived to be a 100. Uh, my maternal grandmother lived to be about 80, and my great-grandmother over 100, 109. I know. I read that, and it said a centenarian. I thought, well, I wonder what she did right. <laughs> what was the secret to her longevity? Eating well, mm. healthy environment. Mm -hmm. What is the difference uh, uh, in the music, the musical, uh, and between an interior uh, nation, uh, Aboriginal nation, and a coastal? in the sounds and is that too complicated a question? Uh, well no, I, I could generalize, I can't mm. be specific, but generally the, the people in the interior have large drums that people play around it. We use hand drums, also the people from the interior do as well, but our songs are not the beat, the rhythm of it isn't so much in the drum as it is in the, the musical performance mm. itself. So. Yes. Uh, sometimes there'll be groups of people, but often there'll be a single person singing. The song is quite different than the sort of powwow music that mm -hmm. you might hear across Canada. Sure. And the uh, uh, the rattle, what is that called? It, it's a rattle. It's um, just a rattle. And <laughs> it's used for prayer songs. And mm -hmm. usually the, the, the Call to the Ancestors song is one of three prayer songs on the CD. Mm. And prayer songs are used to clean the air and clean the floor and bring everyone to one space um, in, in an event. And the rattle is used in that way to invoke the spirit. Okay, and uh, I know you have one called Thank You Salmon. Thank You Salmon. Uh, did Robert write that? Yes, he did. Yes, and uh, it's uh, obviously Thank You Salmon for uh, still being alive with all this turmoil <laughs> and coming back and, and spawning. Uh, the, the, salmon, uh, the salmon's meaning to Haida Nation, to, cult to the culture. Is um, I, I, there are many things that are important to our culture. Salmon and cedar are two important things, and they're both tied. Science have found out that science and cedar are supportive of each other in in the rainforest. So they they really define right. who we are. The salmon is is our main source of sustenance, mm -hmm. and the cedar is all around us in in our canoes and our homes and the regalia we wear. So they're both key cultural keystones for sure. The and people. and the fishing wolves. You know, so many of the beautiful wolves that, that fish for salmon or the swimming wolves. Uh, uh, your hat, the one that was on Crooked, we won't mention that again. <laughs> uh, who who uh, wove it? Isabel Rorick is a mm. beautiful spruce root weaver. She's mm -hmm. um, uh, my husband's cousin. Um, she learned from her grandmother 
and it's quite a quite a job. It's quite it's a beautiful, beautifully constructed hat. And then Robert painted it with uh, one of my crests, oh, the mountain okay. goat. The mountain goat, which means? Uh, it's one of the crests of the people from Skidans, and it mm -hmm. sort of is evidence of our connection to the Simshian people, because we don't have mountain goat or any large mammals like that in Hawaii. Right. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think the uh, females, and mostly they're females who weave in indigenous culture, do not get the respect they deserve. Yes. Really. I mean, uh, uh, certainly some of the carvers now do and uh, uh, the artists who carve magnificent totem poles and gold and, and silver and all of that. But the female weavers? Uh, what I've heard my husband say is that you can't fake being a good weaver. You could maybe do mm. that as an artist making wood, but it, there's so much involved in the processing and the construction of the hat or the, the garment that I was wearing that you really can tell whether someone's an amazing yes. artist, and Isabel is an amazing mm -hmm. artist. And and the whole process is so fascinating, like how it begins, and and your husband, the artist, is of course right, <laughs> isn't he? <laughs> uh, other songs on on this CD, "Have a Light Heart on Your New Journey." Yes, that was also composed. Most of the songs on the CD were composed mm. by Robert, um, and that's a song. Uh, to, that we sing at celebration events or when people are going through a transition in their life when they need to have the strength of, of us singing this song to them. It's a wonderful song just to keep your spirit sure. and your heart light. Well, always a light heart. Wouldn't it be wonderful? Yes. Uh, Calm the Waves, the Raven Love Song, he wrote that. Uh, Raven right? Love Song, yes. Raven Love Song, Eagle, Transformation, and yours, Peacemaking Song. Tell me about that. Uh, that is the song that is inspired from some of the research that I did into songs that we no longer have, and peacemaking songs is one of the genres we don't have. Mm. And so in what I, what I found is that when we went through a process of making peace, then a song would be sung with the lyrics that are in this song saying that Haida Gwaii is now green. And so the lyrics of that song is Haida Gwaii is green. And, uh, and I, um, it's, it's that, that's really the song, mm. is to mark that event. And um, I think that we are mm -hmm. going through a process of peacemaking. We're going through a process of making Haida Gwaii green and protecting those spaces. Sure, absolutely. Well. And I know Premier uh, Christy Clark is with the Western Premiers this week. And one of the items high on her agenda is how to prevent uh, violence uh, against women, but particularly against Aboriginal women that's in different communities and, and urban Aboriginals. That's really great. Isn't it? It's, it's definitely needed. Mm -hmm. Very much so. So, you will launch your first CD uh, Thursday this week, 8 o'clock, UBC Museum of Anthropology. I'm assuming you'll be singing. Yes. And Bruce Riddell will be there. Yes. And your production company, is his production company yours, the Raven Calling Productions? Raven Calling Productions is a company that uh, Robert and I uh, okay. own. Okay. But okay. it's a collaboration with Bruce, so. Yes. Thank you. Thanks Thank very you. much for having me. It's been nice, wonderful. Nice to meet you. Thank nice you for getting up early and singing. Thank mm -hmm. you. Terry Lynn Williams-Davidson, uh, her first CD called New Journeys.